Hey everyone, how's it going? Azrin here. Hope you guys are doing well. Today's video is a collaboration with uh, Charlie from StreetFrench.org. I put a link to his uh, YouTube channel in the description below. And basically what we're going to be doing is Charlie is going to give one piece of advice, a general piece of advice around language learning. And what's going to happen is I'm going to jump in and share some of my thoughts, share some of my perspectives and opinions um, around what Charlie said. So. Uh, let's get started with the video. A lot of people I work with, they don't have the time to practice, or they have they find it difficult to find the time to practice. And um, yeah, you don't need to spend an awful lot of time, but I just think every day, you know, maybe 15, 10, 20 minutes every day, that could make a lot of difference, and that really adds up. It's better than, you know, just speaking like, or practicing the language once a week for an hour. It's really important to do it every single day, even if it's a little bit. Daily focus is so huge. I mean, you guys are probably seeing now that I'm actually putting a daily focus on Chinese and Gujarati. There's a reason for that, right? Without that daily focus, it's very challenging to actually see consistent growth in your language learning. Now, the one thing I want to be very direct on and very clear on, if you're putting 15 minutes a day, 20 minutes a day into a language, first of all, yes, you will learn, but I need you to understand that it's going to take a long time. I need you to get that. Because think about that, 15 minutes a day times seven days a week, I don't know what the math is on that, that's, that's roughly just under two hours, I think it's an hour 45. You're doing an hour 45 a week of learning a language. And so if you're doing 15 minutes a day because you're very busy, because whatever, you need to understand that it might take you seven years, eight years to really get fluent in language. It might take a long time. And so if you choose to do that, guys, you need to understand that it's going to take a long time and you can't expect it to happen like that. Yeah, another thing is that people, they tend to learn things that aren't really useful in real life. You know, I tell people all the time, learn things that are relevant to your life, okay? Um, anything that you know how to say, I mean, anything that you would usually say in English, try to learn that in the target language. This piece of advice is huge. I think it's so, 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 so important, and I agree 100%. I think for some, actually, interestingly, I think a lot of reasons why some people find classroom learning a little bit challenging is because often the things that you learn in textbooks, often they're not 100% relevant to you. In other words, you're learning words, you're learning phrases, you're learning things that maybe are not overly important to you, right? Or they're not going to be things that you use every single day. And I think one of the most important things is to be able to do that, is to learn stuff that's going to help you in your daily life, stuff that you're going to be using all the time. It's kind of like for me, I'm learning Gujarati. I'm learning how to read and write in Gujarati right now. Um, and actually learning how to speak better too, learning more vocabulary, as you guys seen. And one of the things that I'm doing is regarding the alphabet, I've actually chosen to learn not the alphabet first, but only the letters in my name. Why? Because those letters are important to me. It's my freaking name. I like my name. My name's amazing. I like it. And I know that for me, if I learn the letters in my name, those letters are gonna stick so fast and I'm going to remember them really quickly because they're in my name. I like my name. And so those are the first things I'm learning because it, it, for me, those are the most important and the most relevant. And for the last tip, make sure you have fun. You know, try to enjoy yourself as much as possible. Learning a language can take a long time and, you know, it can be stressful at times because, uh, you know, no one wants to look silly, no one wants to, you know, not know what's going on. And, you know, but don't let that get to you. Don't be nervous. Just try to enjoy yourself and enjoy the process as much as possible. This is like a classic piece of advice in my opinion. I love it. Um, having fun, trying to make your language learning fun is huge. I think tr just like any new skill, right? I mean, if it's not fun, it's very challenging to, mo to actually push through a lot of the challenging times. And the one thing I do want to say, though, is that, yes, have fun with your language learning. That's, that's massive. And you have to understand that there will be times where it's not very fun, right? There's times that there's certain concepts you're going to find difficult. There's certain things that are not going to make sense to you right away. But that's okay, right? Especially if you're putting that like Charlie says, you're putting like a bit of a filter on to go, hey, I'm learning French, I'm learning Arabic, I'm learning Mandarin, I'm learning Japanese, I'm learning Portuguese, I'm learning whatever. And as long as you have that filter and you're trying your best and you're trying to take approaches that make it enjoyable for you, you know, it's just going to make the hard times a lot easier um, and easier to push through. So that is the video for today. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And as usual, I will see you guys probably tomorrow. I think I'm going to be doing daily videos. Yes, I'm still doing daily videos. So. 
See you tomorrow, if not in a couple days. Bye for now.